Necronomicon. I don't really have an interest in the Necronomicon. I've read it four or five times over the years, and I've always found something different in it. I will say this. If you were paying attention to that video, I put five quotes from the Necronomicon in little memes, but I never once in that video quoted those quotes. There's some really detailed information in those quotes from the Necronomicon about the apocalypse, about the gate, and about the ancient ones. I don't know if you know, they were, they were in that video, but there, I never did address those topics. It's just, I don't want to get too deep in that. It's not, I don't know. It's just for the same, I, I'll probably, I'm going to have to return to it, but not from, from a perspective of trying to elucidate more information about the Necronomicon. I'm actually going to go into the writings of, of Charles Burgoyne, because pretty soon we're going to have to go ahead and start examining the dark satellite and what the ancient occult texts and traditions are concerning that, because that is the vehicle by which the ancient ones will arrive here. And, uh, it's a totally di different system of occult books and uh, uh, traditions, but they link up perfectly with the Necronomicon, which which was derived from the Arabian occult. And you you got to understand, it's not Arabian Saracen uh, uh, occult. The Arabians were absolutely fantastic at the preservation of information. The Christians lied when they said the Muslims were burning their libraries. That is not true. The Muslims had a penchant for taking the texts, especially Roman and Greek texts and Coptic texts. They would take those texts uh, and they would preserve them to the T. We have many Western writings today only because the Arab Saracens and scholars preserved them for over 800 years. It's the only reason why we have them today. Old Greek texts and all that. Yeah, if we would have relied on our own European uh, uh, authorities, the Roman Catholic Church would have exterminated 100% of all the literature of the ancient world. Yeah, man. Uh, I am not a Muslim. Do not, do not, do not care about the faith. I don't care about the Christian faith, don't care about the Islamic faith, don't care, especially do not care about the Judaic. Now, they're just the writings of men that have been taken to a whole nother, nother level. Now, the Quran does have some really interesting things. And if you're listening to me tonight, there's a, there was a woman in the UK who had contacted me right before I got kicked off Facebook who knows the Quran back and forth, and she had offered to do a video with me, and I've lost contact with her. I don't know what happened. If you're in the chat thread, uh, reveal yourself, and my email is available. I don't know why you haven't contacted me, but she, she claims that the Quran has several passages about resets and cataclysms spoken from the perspective like angels and stuff, and I've seen those passages before about the Ad and the Thamud and uh, uh, Idris, and I just, I read, I read two different translations of the Quran when I was in prison, and back then I wasn't researching that, so, you know, you, you, you see what you're looking for. I just glossed over it, but it was in the back of my mind. I remember reading that. Well, she has those passages, and I lost all contact with her. I think that's a fantastic video for us to do, because most people don't know. I mean, you guys know. I've, I've done the Oral End, uh, 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 Book of Jasher, Colburn Bible. So many, so many obscure writings from the old world contain fascinating gems of truth, and this is the reason why scholarship ignores them. you got to understand, it's not that they're not interested. Scholars, scholars have an itinerary, they have a syllabus of accepted findings. If they can't go outside that syllabus or they're going to, they're going to become anathema, they're, they're going to lose their funding if they have any, and they're going to uh, pretty much be demonized by their peers. And that is the worst thing for a scholar to go through because he cannot do anything else uh, in his profession once he has gotten on the bad side of the establishment. So...